Okay, a uh, cool trick uh, here on Archicad for Rafter Tales. Um, this is, uh, sorry, one second here, it's taken us a minute. There we go. Uh, let me get to the detail here where we're looking at uh, the Rafter Tail, where we've got this sort of notched out. It's perpendicular, and then we've got a little slope. Uh, not perpendicular here, obviously, like if I look at the slope right here, it flares down. Uh, and there's like a little like one inch drop right there. Uh, all I know from this is a three by six rafter, and I just want to show something that's like this on this four foot overhang. Um, so uh, normally what we would do is create a custom profile that would have that notch out and do a solid element operation. Um, but one thing I found uh, now with the new rafter options, uh, this rafter is in place, it matches my roof slope, that all is uh, dialed in. Um, but what I want to do is go to my segments, um, I've got my two and a half by five and a half inch rafter, uh, and I'm just going to add a couple of segments. Uh, I'm going to set those segments to fixed lengths um, and change those to two. Uh, let's make that three feet at the building and uh, one foot at the eave. Uh, so that'll give me that sort of rafter uh, end piece. Um, now what I can do is on uh, this piece right here, this rafter end, I could say that this is four and a half inches, right? So that drops that up, uh, it gets that going right. Um, I can also take this end right here and I can say that that's perpendicular to the slope. That 90 degrees is whatever that rafter slope is, is now gonna have that 90 degree uh, to the roof slope uh, sort of end like we saw in that detail. Um, that's cool, it's starting to get there, uh, but we also know that the slope at this tail is not parallel with the slope at the main rafter. So what you can do is you can, can click this option right here. Again, for this segment only, I'm gonna say that this tapers down. Uh, when I click the fly out right here, it starts at two and a half by four and a half, um, but I can say that it ends at two and a half by three and a half, and then say, uh, okay. And then we see a rafter here that's very similar, if not identical, to that rafter design. So normally we would have multiple elements uh, defining these rafters in order to model it accurately. We can now uh, really quickly model um, our rafters uh, with a single element. Um, and again, just using the multiply command like we would normally do, we're just going to array that across the roof edge. And then we get that rafter design. Uh, so instead of having individual rafter tails, uh, we get uh, single elements, or sorry, individual elements to compose a rafter tail. We get a single element for each rafter tail, which is a sort of cool uh, workaround and a trick to avoid having to manage multiple elements or multiple uh, 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 pieces for a single shape.